Hello everyone and welcome back to CMB Extra, it's me Chester. Uh, so I want to talk about something that I haven't, I don't think I've talked about on the channel before, but something I am incredibly excited for, because it, from the sound of things, it combines two of my absolute favourite things ever, which is more or less Persona with Harry Potter, and that is, we've gotten some more information about that leaked Harry Potter RPG that first got leaked back in 2018. We got a little bit of information and stuff there. I think we got a leaked video, which a few people talked about, and then <laughs> the videos got taken down, I do believe, uh, because Warner Bros. didn't want any of the footage being pushed around too much. So I'm not going to be showing any of the gameplay or any of the new footage that we've got from here, but I'll be linking down below to all the articles that do show uh, the video and all that type of stuff. I just don't want this video <laughs> taken down. But yeah, I just wanted to talk about that and some of the new information we've gotten about that. So a lot of my information is coming from uh, PSU. Never heard of them before, so <laughs> not the not the most well-known website. Who knows? Maybe they're incredibly well-known, but uh, they talk about some of the new footage that's been leaked. So the first bit of information surfaced in 2018, which is where I got super excited for it. And I remember hoping against hope that we get uh, some information at the 2018, oh no, uh, the 2019 E3, nothing happened then. So who knows, maybe we might actually get a proper release or at least an announcement of the name or something like that at this E3. I would love that. I'm really excited about the idea of what this RPG could be because I love the idea of and like it goes back to everyone's desire if you grew up with Harry Potter everyone has had that desire to go to Hogwarts be put into a class be put into a house have friends there make friends there do the different classes live a life at Hogwarts and then you know experience the wisdom world everyone has wanted to do that that loved those books and so this is kind of just like I guess we've now reached that point with uh, game mechanics and the ability for games to be able to make worlds that you can interact with to that level. Um, so hopefully we can see some stuff similar to both the Persona series, but also uh, almost similar to what Fire Emblem Three Houses did with the systems of uh, of course, we wouldn't be the teach most likely, but you know, going through the classes, all that type of stuff, classes impacting gameplay, but then you go out of Hogwarts to do quests and stuff like that. Not sure how they do that. From the looks of things, it's set quite a ways back in history. So of course, you would have a whole different range of storytelling stuff. It'd also be interesting to see the history outside of the immediate stuff that we're told in the Harry Potter books, which is getting expanded upon a little bit in the Fantastic Beasts movies, but not as much as I would like, especially in the further back parts of history, because it's kind of a little... Because uh, all, all my knowledge about Harry Potter comes from the books and the movies, basically like that. I never got into the Pottermore stuff, so a lot of my knowledge kind of stops after Dumbledore being young type of thing. That's kind of where my knowledge of the world that's as far as it goes, so I'd love to learn more about that type of stuff. So I'll read a little excerpt from the article here. Not much information about the mysterious Harry Potter RPG is available right now, seeing as how Warner Bros. Interactive Entertainment hasn't even announced the game yet. However, we've been hearing about the Boy Wizard's latest outing since late 2018. Back then, it was suggested by the BBC's Lizzo Mazimba. I don't know. The game would be titled Harry Potter Magic Awakened, while other potential titles include Magic Forever. Furthermore, he claims that other Harry Potter games are also in the pipeline. Here's what he had to say in Twitter. I am told this is from a yet-to-be-announced RPG currently titled Harry Potter Magic Awakened, although other titles including Magic Forever are also in the mix. Other Potter games are also thought to be on the way. Here are some of the uh, features that they go through that are supposedly in the game uh, from the little bits of video we've gotten. Uh, so Journey to Hogwarts become one of eight different wizard types, so of course we have most likely different classes. Uh, similar to nearly any RPG. Uh, it's interesting that there are eight, uh, so it, you might go into almost elements type of thing, so you, you could almost be an electric wizard, fire, all that type of stuff, have ones that uh, spells that you're more proficient in type of thing. Um, experience Hogwarts, make new friends, uncover new secrets, and change the fate of the wizarding world. It could be very interesting if it is very similar to that uh, Three Houses thing in Fire Emblem where there is a group of friends more or less, group of characters for each house that you interact with. So in reality you could play through the game, if it's like that, you could almost play through the game multiple times and go to each house and experience completely different sides of the story, which could be really interesting and I'd be so down for that. 
Experience a new magic system that creates countless possibilities to master magic. Interesting, interesting. Freely explore the Wizarding World for the first time. Now, as they say, the Wizarding World, not just Hogwarts, because we were able to explore Hogwarts, the entirety of Hogwarts, I believe, in the 5th, 6th, I'm not sure about the 7th and 8th games, but I know the, uh, at least be able to explore them in a more free way. The, um, the first, I think all of the games, you can explore a large degree of Hogwarts, but it wasn't until the the 5th and 6th one where you really got a feeling like it was an open world almost area to explore. A lot of times you had stuff that was sectioned off and it felt quite linear. It didn't feel like Hogwarts that, that we knew it. It felt like a very gamified version. But from the fifth onwards, we really got a proper experience of Hogwarts, I felt. Like you needed a map to be able to move around. It would come with a paper map, which you just needed to be able to find anything. Choose their own house and friends at Hogwarts and decide to pursue a path of good or evil. Once again, sounding very similar to Persona 5, how, and of course all the Persona games, how you can kind of pick and choose which confidants you really want to invest the time into and explore all their stories. You can, if you are very good at time management, do everyone's, but you'll have your favorites type of thing. So maybe they're talking to something similar to that. Create their own witch or wizard and experience an all new story separate from the books or films. So then when going through the uh, footage, we get a little... Uh, Look at the character creation stuff, which looks quite good. Some spell stuff, uh, books, plants, you know, basic Harry Potter stuff. Some, I think, I believe that's... I'm, I'm at that stage now where I'm forgetting all of the information. I used to be so good at Harry Potter stuff. I used to know everything <laughs> back before Pottermore. I, any little fact, any little thing, I knew it. Now I'm forgetting everything. I just thought that place was called Gringotts. No, it's not cool. I mean, I, oh my gosh, I'm I'm losing everything. All my all my my history of knowledge all fading away. Damn it, year twelve, you've you've taken everything from me. There are a few bits in here that I do recognise from the previous footage and trailer that we got. Um, but there seems to be some ability to interact with uh, beasts and all that type of stuff, and a real sense of being able to interact with the world, which I really like. It really seems to be taking it to that next level of game. It's not really just like, oh, it's a tie-in game, bare minimum type of thing. It looks like they're going quite far beyond and going really into that realm of it's its own game, it's a AAA quality type of game, which is, it's hard to really tell from this. It looks pretty like, you know, low quality footage. Um, but it, it looks really cool. I definitely recommend anyone checking out the, the footage while it's still up. But yeah, so those are some of my thoughts regarding the uh, possible new Harry Potter RPG. It really feels like it is definitely happening now. I know back when it got first leaked back in 2018, I was hopeful by the feeling that, you know, there was a chance it could get cancelled. Harry Potter isn't really the brand it is anymore. It's not as massive as it was, so maybe they... Uh, Warner Bros. wasn't too keen on it, especially after it all getting leaked and that type of stuff, but it definitely looks like they're still working on it. Um, I'm super excited for a lot of the ideas that are being thrown around about it. Hopefully some of them are true, <laughs> but I really like the idea. Also, uh, hopeful that we might get something at E3 this year. If we don't, uh, I'm a, <laughs> I've been waiting for a very long time. Um, but you know, if, if we don't, it just means they're spending more time on it to get it to a high level polish. I hope that we get like a name announcement or like a CGI trailer or something, just so we know that it's coming and we know a bit more about it. Because um, I would love to talk about this game further on this channel. I love Harry Potter and I love the the concept and the the game this is looking like it's going to be and i will i will play it so much especially if it has multiple re if it has like real replay value like uh, fire emblem three houses where you can replay it three times and experience such diverse stories i'm really excited for that um let me know in the comments down below your thoughts on this uh, do you think we'll get anything at e3 this year from it we didn't get any last year that might have just been because it was way too early in development. We might get some more stuff here. The fact that there is gameplay that can be leaked shows that they're moderately further along in development than before, um, which could be you know, a, a good opportunity to finally get a look at this game and to see it at E3. But let me know what you think. Uh, do you, after seeing the gameplay for yourself, are you interested in this? Is it too much of a, a diversion from what you would expect Harry Potter to be? Uh, a Harry Potter game to be, or is this exactly what you want from a Harry Potter game like me? Let me know in the comments down below. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, I'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.